G'day legends. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the Steven Slate Audio Raven control surface. In particular, the latest version, the Raven MTI Max. This is a 27 inch touch panel with a glass screen, a 2K resolution. It looks great, it feels great to work on. And when paired with the latest Raven 4.0 multi-touch software, it becomes an incredibly powerful tool for mixing and editing. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you a couple of cool things that you can do on the Raven. This is our Raven mixer. It looks really awesome. Just got a really classic analog feel about it. So you've got 32 faders right here at your fingertips that you can start mixing with. You can get multiple faders at once. You can get three faders going here. I can grab another three here. You can grab another one there. So you can really um, get creative with your mixing and really hands-on. And you can quickly bank between 32 faders at a time, so you can really navigate a session quite quickly. And we can two-finger swipe to bank across as well. You don't have to use the bank button. And you can one-finger swipe to just bank one fader across at a time. So another really awesome thing here are these buttons down the bottom that you can assign to groups, so you can quickly find sounds within your mix. So we hit drums, it's gonna show us just our drum tracks. And then we go to guitars, and we just get our guitar track, so we can kind of get a blend of guitars here. We can go to all our vocals here. And then when you hit all, you just bring all the tracks back. You can also change into a 16 channel mixer. So if you're just doing like a small group, even just like our choir group here, we could get a nice blend of choir stuff happening. So let's just do a quick drum mix. got lots of drum tracks, but we can still fit them all on the screen because we have 32 channels. And up the top here, we have our inserts for plugins. So let's take our snare drum here and we're gonna grab virtual mix rack. Two finger tap pauses the track, two finger tap plays the track. Three fingers closes the plugin. You can quickly solo multiple tracks just by putting your finger on and dragging across. And then there's a clear solo button down the bottom as well. You can also mute tracks. You can duck down, move across, keep your finger on the screen, and then you can continue muting, which is a pretty cool trick. You got your transport bar, play, stop, record, fast forward, rewind. You can touch up the top here and you can add icons to your pitches. So we can come over to guitars and we can add guitars to all this stuff. Another cool feature is you can access the insert. So you just hit this insert button in the bottom left-hand corner and then you can choose your insert up the top. So if you had a reverb, let's say on our vocals. You got You can easily just jump between mixing and then mixing your effects as well. Now you can see we've got these yellow lines around our fader, which means we're in fine fader mode. That means when we drag a track, it's not gonna be quite as responsive. It just lets you be a little bit gentler and do smaller motions a lot easier. So I press this button, the internal mixer, it's gonna jump over to Logic now and it's gonna put the faders over Logic, which is really cool. So we still have that same spacing to have 32 faders, but now we're using the Logic window instead of the Raven window, which just depends what you think feels better for you. In this one, you can access plugins, you can like go through and you can add stuff to it. You've just got full access to Logic on this side. So here's a couple of things that you can do on the screen. Two fingers lets you move around the session very quick and easy. Two finger pinch lets you zoom in and out. Three fingers will make the tracks larger or smaller. Just depends which way you wanna go. So let's zoom in here on this one. And let's say that we want to kind of like crop this and clean it up. Now, if I put five fingers on the screen, I can drag it up and I get the marquee tool. I can drag and then I can highlight a section, three finger twist, and I can delete that section. Now I can use five fingers down to get my fade tool. And I can add a fade to the end of that. I can highlight and add a fade to the side of that. And if you want to undo something, 
three finger tap is undo. So once you learn the gestures, you can work your way through editing on a screen kind of fairly easily. When your mix is finished, five fingers on the screen, the bounce menu pops up and away you go. Now another really cool thing is say like we are doing editing, you know, we're chopping stuff out. You know, got lots of little things that we've chopped and we want to add phase to everything. So you can highlight all the stuff that you want to add fade to, do a five finger turn and it brings up our little menu here. And then we can just add phase by clicking and dragging. See, we're adding a fade into everything and then we can add a fade out to everything. So you want to just grab a section and cut it out. Four finger turn will cut it out of that region or a four finger turn to the right will crop everything on either side of it. Feel like a little touchscreen ninja. So a really awesome feature of the Raven software is the batch commands. This allows you to take kind of like mundane tasks and turn them into a one button push. For example, loading up a plugin, you know, searching for your, your plugin library and trying to find it. You know what you want, but you got like a thousand plugins like me and it takes forever to find what you're looking for. You can turn this into a one push button. So a plugin that I use all the time is a Brainworks SSL channel strip, but you now have to go for a bit of a search to find it. I can just push that button and it's gonna load up the Brainworks SSL channel strip for me on the channel that I have selected, which is pretty awesome. I can get straight into mixing on it. So there's just a small amount of setup and you can just think about all the plugins that you would like to have at your fingertips and you can make that into a one push command, which I think is truly awesome. The other thing is it's fully customizable. So if you wanna have your favorite batch commands down the bottom here, you can literally drag them out and you can add your own in. You can replace them with things, just drag them and drop them down the bottom. So you can get this set up to work exactly the way that you wanna work and make it feel really good for you while you're using your Raven. So there you have it guys, that is the Stephen Slate Audio Raven MTI Max paired with the Raven 4.0 software. Just an absolutely incredible and powerful piece of gear and I'm so stoked to finally have one in my studio. If you've been thinking about picking one up or you're just keen to learn a little bit more about them, there will be a link in the description below to the Stephen Slate Audio website where you can purchase them directly or if you like buying your gear through Sweetwater, I will have my Sweetwater affiliate link below. Using that link doesn't cost you anything extra, but a small commission does come back to the channel. And that's just an awesome way of supporting the time that goes into making these kinds of videos. And if you want to support this channel in another way, there's a link in the description below to my website. Go check out my range of drum samples and mixing courses. Grabbing any of those really helps support this channel. If you're keen to stick around for another video, check out this next one coming up where I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about mixing MIDI drums.